Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new breakdown video and today we're going to be talking about Arrow Season 8, Episode 9. But if you know anything about this episode, you'll know that this doesn't really have anything to do with Arrow Season 8 itself and shouldn't really be looked at as an Arrow episode, but rather as a backdoor pilot for the Green Arrow and the Canary series. But before we break down every detail and aspect that we've got about this new episode, let's first take a look at the new trailer for Episode 9. Your father wanted you to have a choice. Star City isn't safe. It's time for you to be the Green Arrow. I remember everything. everything. This is your city. You have the chance to realize your purpose. So what's next? Now on top of this trailer, we've had a bunch of promotional material recently, including this poster right here, which shows Mia donning the Green Arrow costume with the words, Heroes Fall and Legends Rise. Now I'm not sure if that's quite literally meant to mean that Oliver the Hero has fallen and Mia the Legend rises as the new Green Arrow. I mean, interpret that in your own way there, I guess. Uh, but one thing I will say is that no doubt, like there's no doubt that Catherine McNamara, I'm sorry if I butcher her name, looks badass in this suit but will the series be badass well that's another question on many fans minds and this trailer gives us something to think about when it comes to that question another quick thing i want to say is before we get into the breakdown of this i know not everyone is on the same page when it comes to mia being the new green arrow and this show in the first place i just thought it would be interesting to break this trailer down regardless as it's within the universe and at the end of the day why not take a peek at it and see what mia and the kin Canaries are up to in the post-crisis world. Other than that, I would encourage, seriously, encourage all opinions on this down in the comment section because who knows, we still haven't seen any of this in live action yet, so it could be really, really entertaining and take a lot of you by surprise, despite whether or not you feel Mia deserves the mantle of the Green Arrow, or then again, it could be not so great, but ultimately, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this trailer and what we've already got so far down in the comments, and of course, you know, if you go on to like this video, Go ahead and click that like button, subscribe of course for more videos like this, but let's get into this. And first of all, I want to read out the synopsis of this episode because you may have heard this already or not, but it just goes hand in hand with the trailer, so let's read that out before we get into all of those details. So it's the year 2014 Star City and Mia Queen has everything she could have ever wanted. However, when Laurel and Dinah suddenly show up in her life again, things take a shocking turn and her perfect world is upended. Laurel and Dinah are tracking a kidnapping victim with direct ties to Mia and they need her help. Knowing it will change everything, Mia can't help but be a hero and she, Laurel and Dinah suit up once again to save the city. So at the very beginning of the trailer we see that Mia is understandably looking very upset when looking at the wall giving tribute to Oliver Queen who is of course her father but also at the same time we hear the line from Laurel saying that your father wanted you to have a choice. Now I personally think that this could mean the choice to live a normal life. I mean, of course, this line would have been stripped at from some point in the episode. It could have been from the middle, three quarters in. Uh, but regardless, it could be the chance to live a normal life or just carry on being a vigilante as we've seen Mia be so far in Arrow. But what we have to remember is that Mia isn't a paragon, so she wouldn't remember the events that happened before Crisis in this new post-Crisis world. And also, it's very strongly possible that Diggle followed through with what Oliver requested of him before Crisis, and that is to make sure that William and Mia aren't separated so that she could have lived a quite different life leading up to present day than what she originally did, as previously William and Mia only met when they were older, as we all saw in Arrow Season 7. Now I know not only Paragons, by the way, are now aware of the events or, you know, before Crisis in this new post-Crisis world, for example, such as Team Arrow and Flash and others uh, finding out about it, but I don't think until this point Mia has had that unlocked 
in her mind. But it seems that she does somehow get that insight from Laurel. When we hear Laurel say, it's time for you to become the Green Arrow, she does this like weird twisty thing with her ring, which I'm guessing is imbued with some kind of technology to somehow do what Martian Manhunter did to others in Crisis on Infinite Earths, you know, by restoring their memories. So I'm guessing this moment, you know, Mia's memory is restored of the previous multiverse because, you know, when Laurel touches Mia uh, with that twisty ring thing, uh, she has this kind of epiphany-esque moment, followed by her, of course, saying the words, I remember everything, which is uh, quite the giveaway. So yep, it's quite safe to say that post-crisis, things were very different in Mia's life, but now everything has been restored, which will of course lead her to want to commit to the life and legacy of the Green Arrow. But however, this is Star City 2040, so it's still a mystery to me at least, unless any of you guys have any theories as to how the heck Dinah and Laurel get to 2040. I mean, maybe it's the Wave Rider or something else, who knows really. It's just, you know, it feels like this part of the episode is very vague. But as the synopsis states, the year is 2040 and Laurel and Dinah suddenly show up in her life again. Also another thing to note, when Laurel says Star City isn't safe, they actually show a Deathstroke gang member, and I just hope personally that the villains are going to be a bit more interesting, just because uh, in my experience so far, I'm starting to get a bit numb to the whole Deathstroke gang, but hopefully they'll pull off something out of the bag at least, which makes the story with them really interesting. But then we see Mia is given the new Green Arrow suit, uh, you know, kind of form-fitted to her. She suits up and we get a montage of the new Green Arrow and the Canaries, and you know, I have to say, all three look very badass. But this is where things take another interesting turn in the trailer, as this is where we see the action unfold, uh, where we see the Green Arrow and the Canaries rescue this girl here from these thugs. Now, they don't appear to be Deathstroke gang members, and I'm assuming that this is the girl from the synopsis, as it did state that Laurel and Dinah are tracking a kidnapping victim with direct ties to Mia. Now, as for who this mystery girl is, it could just be a friend of Mia's. Some have pointed out how it could also be baby Sarah. Well, I mean, not a baby anymore, uh, but you know what I mean. If you watch Crisis, you will know that in the post-Crisis world, Sarah has been brought back alongside JJ, which is super interesting. So this could be her in present day. Uh, we also see her in the promotional photos, which don't really offer anything new other than a better look at her versus what we see of her in the trailer. Uh, also, in the other promo photos, we see that Dinah is singing, which is a really cool nod to the Canary anyway. And then we have numerous other stills from across the episode, which don't really offer much more insight into the plot other than just some cool poses and just them all suited up and, you know, just a bunch of photos like that. So all in all, guys, I would say that this trailer, to be brutally, brutally honest with you guys, is fairly solid. And I think that it will be a fairly entertaining episode. And from what we get teased from the action in the trailer for this episode, I think that there's no doubt that they probably went ham behind the scenes trying to make this a fairly explosive episode to give a really good impression on both fans who are excited for this and those who have their concerns. I mean, also just liking it to that of, you know, the pilot episodes for Arrow usually have quite a bit more action and explosive kind of stuff where fans were just like, holy crap, that was such a great intro to the series. I feel like that's what they would do with this because, of course, you know, they really want to get people on board and, you know, from at least what I can tell from this trailer, Trailer, they're, they're, they're probably going to try and do everything in their power that they can. However, though, I, I also think it's important to address that I think the pill to swallow for some fans will just be the issue that they take with Mia being the new Green Arrow and, as the poster indicates, legend and hero of Star City, taking after her father. And as many have pointed out to a lot of fans, it kind of felt undeserving, in addition to many in the fandom who have also voiced that her character was quite frustrating and annoying in the flashbacks mainly in Arrow season 7 but no matter where you land like objectively here what did you all think of this trailer because trust me like I've had my thoughts and opinions on like the the flash forwards of Arrow season 7 and Arrow season 8 uh you know the new team Arrow members if you will um and from a objective standpoint I can't deny that this trailer does look you know entertaining but ultimately of course though I have to wait and actually see the episode myself before I cast a judgment on it but I would just love 
love to know if you guys think that this is something you've got to tune into. Will you be watching it regardless, um, you know, to give it a chance, no matter what you kind of thought of how uh, the characters such as Mia were, were portrayed in previous scenes across Arrow Season 7 and Season 8? Or are you just completely ignoring this straight up? Are you just like, okay, I'm not going to give any time to this? Uh, it would just be interesting to know either way. Uh, try and keep the comments civil in the comments section down below. I know there's many passionate fans, but come on, let's all respect each other's opinions here because, you know, uh, we, we, we can all like what we like. And I know there's many fans of this, uh, you know, new potential series. And at the same time, we, there's some who really aren't, which is fair enough either way. But other than that, everyone, I would really appreciate it. If you're enjoying these videos and this coverage, uh, leave a like on it. Why not? Uh, leave a like on it. And also, if you want to uh, talk about this a little bit more outside the YouTube comment section, I do have a Discord server. And that link to the invite to the server uh, will be in the top pin comment or in my description of this video in the video box. Other than that, you can support me a bit further on Patreon. I do have Twitter. Why not follow me there? It's where I like, you know, tweet out a lot of thoughts. Other than that, everyone, I think the only other thing I have to tell you about is that I'm probably going to be doing a post-crisis Q&A. So keep an eye out on my YouTube community tab uh, for a post that I'll be putting there because that's where you can submit your questions for that Q&A. Uh, you can literally ask anything about the crossover as a whole. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you all, or should I say vigilantes or canaries, in the next video. Goodbye.